I'm Vicky Butler Henderson and this is the Fifth Gear YouTube channel and I'm going to tell you the things that I like about the Porsche KN Turbo SE Hybrid Coupe. Woo! What a mouthful. Now this is a more driver focused machine than the normal KN and telltale signs are yellow calipers, carbon composite brakes and forged wheels. Also the big telltale sign of this squished roof. It has been squished by 20 millimetres. And then round the back, there is a retractable spoiler. Now, this happens at 56 miles an hour and above, but if you can't be bothered to wait that long and you want to show off your peacock feathers at a standstill, there is a button inside to let you do that. Fancy towing something? Well, here's an electric tow bar at an extra cost of £858. Now, as well as putting petrol into this car, you can also put electric and that goes in here. And then the car runs for 26 miles on electric power. And a wonderful feature, which nobody really will ever, ever see, is this carbon fibre roof. It's part of a lightweight sport package. I think it looks beautiful. Shame you can't see it. The carbon fibre comes inside as well with these door trims and dash trims. The roof lining is made of Alcantara and it is so lovely to stroke. But the pièce de résistance is the houndstooth cloth on the seats. My granny's Mark I Ford Fiesta had this. I loved it then and I love it now. In the back you've got two individual seats as opposed to a normal bench. And even though this is longer and wider than a normal KN, it's got that really cosy, intimate feel. It's also packed with goodies when it comes to the technical department. To start with, you've got wonderful haptics. Oh, to even listen to that. Just feels lovely to touch. And in here, go to the apps. It's got the coolest thing when it comes to the weather. A rain radar, just like they have on the pit lane in Formula One. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> This is the quickest, fastest and most powerful KN model ever. And it can do 26 miles on electric power alone. Coming in at around 123 grand, this KN's grunt comes mainly from a 4-litre V8 turbocharged engine with some extra electric power on the side. So the V8 part has got 550 horsepower and the electric section has got 136 horsepower. 0 to 62 happens in 3.8 seconds and can this car jump oh yes it can <laughs> oh love it the eight speed automatic gearbox works incredibly efficiently it is a super slick bit of engineering I've got paddles behind the steering wheel that I can use manually or I can use the box down here if I so fancy it has got a sophisticated four-wheel drive system that juggles torque to whichever tyre needs it most, making this car incredibly sure-footed. It has got oodles and oodles of grip and really beefy, weighty steering that make you feel like you are connected to each of those tyres. There is such little body roll in this car that it could be a two-seater sports car. For all its size and its weight, it kind of is a bit like a ballet dancer with boys around the corners. <gasps> this is mighty fast. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's got an air suspension system that you can set at various heights, including nice and low. Oh. That engine is so dreamy. I wish I could be actually outside next to the exhaust so I can hear it properly. Some sound deadening material has been stripped out to give it a little bit less weight and to make it feel a bit more driver focused. It does jump well, oh, but it's also very comfortable still. There's no real intrusion of noise. I would actually like to hear more exhaust noise because that is a beefy sounding tailpipe. I'm focusing so much because it 
it's just such a precise machine that I want to be precise with my positioning through the corners. I love it, it's really engaging me and it's making me think about driving, which is a real lovely challenge. Right, strap yourselves in, let's go. Under the bonnet is a four litre bi-turbo V8. It has got 550 horsepower. That is combined with the electric motor, which has got 136 horsepower. And all of that combined to give 900 Newton meters of torque. 900. Oh, that plus the fact that it sounds like a top fuel drag car sometimes when you're outside. Not to 60 happens in 3.8 seconds, which is two tenths quicker than the normal KN turbo. It goes on to 186 miles an hour. It is phenomenally fast. 88 miles an hour, 95 miles an hour, braking into third, down to second, I think, for this little cheeky chicane here. 60 miles an hour, onto the brakes again, 40 miles an hour around this right-hander, 50 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour, 70 miles an hour, 80, onto the brakes. <laughs> oh, these numbers just keep on coming. This is quick. It's got all sorts of electronic wizardry going on with the suspension system and anti-roll bars that there is very, very little body roll. I mean, very little body roll. I'd, I'd even go so far to say no body roll. It absolutely defies physics. There are some two-seater sports cars out there which would just love to have the handling of this car. And it weighs over two tons. I mean, it's just ridiculous. If you get on the power early enough coming out of the corners, you can actually make the rear end step out and have some power oversteer coming out of the corners. It is ridiculously fantastic. And the steering is so accurate. The brakes are big and beefy. Witchcraft and wizardry at its absolute finest. Now that is it for this particular film. If you would like to see more, press subscribe so that each time we deliver some new online content for the Fifth Gear YouTube channel, you receive it. Thank you.